Hello and a welcome to Daughter of Wind. I've got Tigress on the bottom here. I still haven't figured out what sign I'm going to read for. I have Taurus, Gemini, Scorpio, and Aquarius left. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to get an animal energy and just see where, yeah, just see what it feels like. Ooh. I got whale spirit and I'm feeling drawn to Taurus. I know water, earth doesn't make sense, but I feel, yeah, I feel like there's something deep going on with Taurus, firefly on the bottom. What's going on with Taurus? Ooh, bear, wow. We'll talk about a Taurian energy right there. So you've gone deep, you've got not a higher perspective, but a deeper perspective. But you're also on the defense. Defense, offense. What else? Anything else? Actually, let's just stick there. Let's go ahead and get a past, present, and forward. Next energy. I don't like to say future, because we can change that, right? I had lunch. I'm a little quiet. I'm like, oh. Uh, let me get a past energy for a whale bear. Spirit. They feel very similar. Elephant, right? Talk about a similar energy. And I talk about, like, look at the energy of the cards. Like, how big and deep and centered this is. And the same thing here. It's like got that heavy, and then you've got this elephant learned from the past. There's just, it's a lot, it's a lot of Taurian energy right there, I'll tell you that. I mean, if there was any type of Taurus of the sea, it would be a whale, right? So your past energy is learned from the past. We'll find out a little more about that. What's your present state? Okay, peacock spirit, let it shine. So we're now lightening up a little bit. We got a little air energy going on there, a little brightness, a little less earthiness, of course. I mean, if there was any card in the deck that I would consider Venusian, it would definitely be a peacock, right? And it's got those colors too. Like I associate purple and the royal blues and the teals and stuff with like kind of that royalty, Venusian, um, you know, Rome or I don't, I don't know, the Grecian. I don't know. It just feels very Venusian to me. So uh, on the bottom of the deck, we have cat spirit, claim your independence, but turn knowledge into wisdom. You know, here we have learn from the past turn knowledge into wisdom. We've got let it shine here in the middle. Two very like heavy earth, like, yeah, and whale spirit. I mean, we just talk about, talk about whales and elephants. If there were any type of um, emulating, like synchronous, I can't think of the word, but I feel like, you know, whales are kind of the elephants of the sea and vice versa, right? And that just that heavy and that bear energy and there's, you know, the turn the knowledge into wisdom is like that very, yeah, it's, it's, I mean, it's talking about knowledge and wisdom. We're talking about elephants learn from the past. I'm just getting this really, really, you're supposed to be doing something, Taurus. What's Taurus supposed, what did Taurus learn in the past? How about that? Look at me, I'm like, all of a sudden my energy is just like, woo, like dropping in. Like what, woo, high priestess in reverse with the seven of cups. High priestess in reverse is first of all, you know, knowledge from a high, like beyond the veil. But when it's in reverse, the see, when it's in the upright, the secrets are still kept. When it's in reverse, is something was revealed to you perhaps a person. The Seven of Cups does talk about temptation. It's very much depicted in this. It talks about options. Learn from the past. You know better. 
you know better about something. Something was revealed to you and you know better. Turn knowledge into wisdom. What's on the bottom here? Something that put you in, a, is this the eight or is this the nine? This is the nine of swords in reverse before. Okay, let's go ahead and get um, clarified peacock, which is three of cups. Okay, let it shine. So this is definitely like getting out there. I think a lot of people are finally, right? Being able to go out there and like absolutely let it shine. And maybe like have a new wardrobe or outfit or whatever it is. It's just going out there and like just being social, right? That's what the three of cups is all about. Clarify wolf spirit for knowledge and wisdom and the queen of swords. But you're like, yeah, I still know what's what. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get a little deeper. Where are we? Five minutes. Okay, so what, what was revealed to the high priestess? Woo! Do you see that? A gift. This is the curant, which is the person that's asking. So we've got a feminine energy. Something was revealed about a gift. A present was revealed. What was it revealed? What was the present that was revealed? How about that? Innocence, something new, something new, something brand spanking new. What were the um, what were the options? Thoughts, oh, temptation, thoughts of temptation, tempting thoughts, maybe uh, past uh, patterns, patterns, right? Elephant is learned from the past, right? What was revealed to you is your gift, your gift, the Kieran's gift. And the innocence of thoughts. Okay. What were the thoughts about? What were the thoughts about? Dreams. Okay. So something was revealed. Your gifts were revealed to you. Your dreams were revealed to you. What was the temptation? Your thoughts, just thinking maybe you were naive and now you're letting it shine. You're three cups and you're wanting to collaborate with other people and you're wanting to, you know, only can we, um, when we're, offering things to other people and we can bring value that they find value in us right um so what clarify three cups great fortune oh i love that even the color scheme there we're getting that there's oranges in there right that solar plexus and let it shine and it's that like ah oh, peacock spirit i don't know why i just want to sing like that tell me more mature man why do we have this mature man in the background this guy keeps he's a lurker let's put it that way we got a lurker Mature man lurking in the background with commitment. I don't think that you're paying attention to that. That like flew all the way over here. Both of them did. You got a queen of swords here. Wolf, right? Wolf spirit. Like it's look about, look about, talk about the, just, it's like the, the energy, the, um, the, what do you call it? The, not position when you have posture, the posture of the wolf. That's like, I see you. And so is the queen of swords here saying like, I see you. I've got this wrapped up, buttoned up. I'm very, very clear in what's going on. Clarify about a lovership. I see what's going on or just a possible, you know, oh, bad health. I still see. Okay. There's something that she's seeing that she's not liking, right? She still knows the truth regardless of whether she wants to play or not. She's still, ooh, about, there was clarity about a mature woman and she's looking right over at her and saying like, I still like, yeah, we may want to, okay. Work. And there's a, oh. There's someone, this is like my disheveled, like offering something like masculine, like I've been through a lot, maybe offering something, maybe someone that you work with, right? That's like, hey, let's work together, right? But you're like, you've got to learn from the past. You're still very clear that there's bad health around this um, relationship and you're expecting, oh, this is crazy, expectations of stability in a lovership and what... Why we got the lovers again? Courtship and making a decision. Getting a message, making another decision about moving forward. There's a wow. I don't, there's a lot of um, repeating cards in this. Where are we at? We're at 928. Like, I, unless I, there's a lot of unpacking here to do. I'm like, 
which sign am I speaking to right now? It's Taurus. Well, let's go ahead and get some advice because this seems like you've got a lot going on. You see very, very clearly, clearly what's going on. It's like you want to go out there and you want to put yourself out there and be hospitable and, and um, not negotiate, but what's the word? Um, networking is like, like that's the three of cups to me, but still very, very clear that like, even though we're maybe in the same network or maybe we work together, you're like, I still know the deeper, like I still know my truth, right? That whale spirit. And you still have like the bear. There's just a lot of protective energy because my wolf spirit is one that like runs the perimeter. Elephant is like the Lord Ganesh. Go through any obstacles, but it also create obstacles in order to protect you. Whale spirit is like, I mean, talk about an animal spirit from below. And then, I mean, earth, it's kind of like north, south, east, west. And then you got peacock here, very flashy up on top, but you've got, you're very spiritually protected. Can I get an um, advice card? Have faith in your dreams. The waxing crescent moon. So that might be a timing card for you. Um, the waxing crescent moon. Have faith in your dreams, which we always love to see that. You and your loved ones are safe. New moon and cancer. Again, we've got that blue color here, the, the chakra. I don't necessarily associate cancer with speaking, but just knowing that you're in a good balanced place. And I just see like that card's very balanced and it's bouncing with the blue here um, with the peacock spirit. And what is this? This just fell over here. Conclusions are within reach. Yeah, knowledge, knowledge and the wisdom. Conclusions are in reach. You have the ability to make the decision that you need to. You have all of the information that you need to. There's a lot, there have been a lot of signs that have just kind of been in that like, I'm just gonna hold and stay here, right? Maybe feel a little stability, see where things are gonna go. Any one of us that is in tune with the moon's energies or the earth's energies or any, you know, anything that's, you know, a little bit on the esoteric side, know that you know you don't hold your breath when it comes to um, eclipse season. A lot of things can change and, and go on their head, and especially when it comes to the retrogrades and everything like that. So I think a lot of people are just like, let's hold up and like get through this next moon and then figure out. I know I feel like that, but I felt really called to get, because I didn't want to put myself in this situation where I'm just like trying to pump out these videos, you know, week after week or whatever. But like for me, especially since I'm trying to really tune into living on round time, it's kind of also me facing it because I still get a little nervous when it comes to, um, well, now I understand them a little bit more, but eclipses uh, definitely bring change, you know, and so I just, I have a, a reflex, especially from last year, but I also understand why last year went the way it did. Right? And it wasn't horrible. In fact, it was amazing, but it didn't seem like it at the time. And there was a lot to work through. And so that's sort of just like, what do I need to work through? I know there are things that I need to work through still. Um, but, you know, I just, instead of like, oh, let me put my head in the sand and just see what comes up now. I'm like, let's face it head on. Let's do some readings. Let's get specific. Let's go ahead and take care of the things that we need to do. That's what Saturn wants to see that we have learned. If we feel... A scenario coming up like even with me with the channel like at this point in time like last year I was like oh we're moving forward with it and then circumstances happen where I was like I don't think I want to do this anymore and I worked through that and you know next year here I am back again but in a totally different mindset because um, it's not coming out of desperation it's also coming out of a lot of like confidence regardless of whether something resonates with you or not I know what my cards do know and or do know and what the information they provide me and I've had a year like in-person scenarios where I've learned to trust them and I w didn't wasn't sitting in that last year it was again it was coming out of not desperation but just wanting to be validated in my gifts and now N nobody knows me which is awesome but I it's been a blessing because I've just it's been proven to me over and over to me and so like now I'm able to go there and like not be afraid of like rejection right because I know why people reject what I do because I was there two years ago like that was like the story of my life I was never in like into the like like never so 
I guess I just, I've been brought through the whole, I don't know, it's just really interesting. And maybe that's where you're at, you know, it's just, and that's what retrogrades are for, right? Is looking back and taking stock and tweaking things where we need to tweak them. And like for me, it's organization and I'm still trying to balk. I'll go spend $20 on some wine, but for me to spend $10 on, um, you know, a uh, soft, some software that'll help me with my clients and keeping things, you know, organized, a lot of the things that I have trouble with, you know, because I'm a creative and organization isn't my forte, I'm getting better at it. But it's like, it's still like seeing what's going to be better for me versus, you know, and so I, yeah, we are, we're all working through our own stuff, but thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate it so much. We'll see you next time. I'm trying to remember again who I'm talking to. It's Taurus. You're reminding me, you're giving me Aries vibes too. So perhaps, and you know, I think look, there, you could be a cusper. So anyways, I don't even know if that's a real thing. Not cusp, but I'm just like Aries and Taurus, or is there Gemini between them? Aries. Taurus, Gemini, Cancer. Okay, yeah. <laughs> All, right. All right, take care. Bye.